guide product. This is something that I've been using with my daughter at home. My daughter is actually pre-K age, so this has been the perfect guide for her. Um, if you're not familiar, which you probably are, but STEM is, stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. It's been a great book, a great guide for us to have some activities, some fun educational learning activities to do in the afternoon. Um, my daughter does do preschool, part-time preschool. She goes in the morning, so in the afternoon, it's fun to have some things that are educational and activities for us to do together. I love this guide because not only is it a guide that is just something that she works in using you know, pencil and paper or so forth, but it's also something that inspires her to get off the couch and get out of her chair and learn by doing. Um, there are several hands-on challenges and projects in here. Um, so we really enjoyed um, this product. So I'm gonna share with you four benefits of this STEM guide, the Smart Start STEM guide. So the first thing is it's easy to use and everything is done. So I know Pinterest is super popular and you can get a lot of things for even free on Pinterest. Um, if you're trying to piece science projects and activities to do together for your children at home. Um, but this guide is already done for you. So it's broken into um, three different large science topics. So you have the physical science, the life science, and the earth science categories. And then there are subcategories underneath. So we were actually able to accomplish six of those sub subcategories. We figured we finished all of physical science and we did two of the life science activities. So for instance, there's shapes, colors, and sizes. So we started with that. So in the shapes, colors, and sizes, you, um, you have a um, introduction page which with each topic, with all of this, it's the same structure. So I really like that. You have um, it kind of bold text introduces the science vocabulary. It has beautiful images. You can ask your child to find, you know, like where is a circle? You know, different things like that. Um, it has a nice little story that also inspires discussion. Um, and then there are some like workbook style pages, which I loved placing like a gallon size Ziploc bag or a dry erase pocket over them so that my daughter could use a dry erase marker. And um, then we could actually go back and correct things. And you know, we can use this book again now since it's clean and done. Um, I just like to, to save things and keep things clean. So that was just something that I enjoyed doing. So um, you have three workbook style pages and then um, this is a little story that introduces the STEM challenge or the science project or the science experiment. Um, and then you have a page that, you know, gives you the, the objective, the challenge, the suggested materials and kind of like guided questions to question them and keep them thinking through the STEM challenge, um, step-by-step -step directions. And then the last page is a STEM journal, journal where they can plan and they can test and, you know, think, did it work and so forth. So, um, we, all of that that I just showed you is like one lesson. We accomplished that all in just one sitting. Like we would sit down, we would read together, she would answer the questions, we would do the project, and we did it all in one shebang, like all in one, one setting. Um, but you could do it and structure it however you want. Um, you could, you know, spread, space the activities out over, over time. Um, you know, over a week and do one little activity each day. There are many ways that you can go about it, but what I love is that it's done and it's there and I just had to pick it up and we did it. I didn't have to piece together activities. It's a guide and it's very easy to just pick up and do. Um, another thing that I loved about this is that only simple materials are needed. So in the front of the book, there is um, a material list with 49 items that are needed. These materials are super simple. Think about the things. These are probably things you already have in your kitchen. Aluminum foil, blocks or books, you probably have that. Um, hopefully maybe some cardboard, if not you can collect it. Um, pennies, pipe cleaners is usually a thing that a teacher mom has around. Screws, um, a small toy spider, we actually have something like that. A sock, um, magnets, marbles, you know, different things like that. So it's, it's there's no additional cost. Um, there's a lot of background noise in my house. It's a family of four, always noise. Um, cotton balls. So there's really no additional cost in order to make these experiments happen. Um, so in the six experiments that we did, um, the only thing I had to purchase was gumdrops. And the way that I did it is I just, we would do it in experiment and then, then before I put the book away, I would flip to the next experiment, make sure we have all the supplies handy in the house. 
And if we didn't, then I would just jot it on my grocery list. And I only had to do that once for gumdrops and you know, gumdrops are so cheap. So, um, so we've really enjoyed this book. Um, I've shared with you the outline. I've told you it's easy to use. It's already done. Um, the last thing is it's inexpensive. It's only $9.99. Sometimes you can catch um, even more deals that which would make it even cheaper. But even if you want to purchase it right away, $9.99 is still, it's just $9.99 for a book that's going to give tons of entertainment to your kids. Um, so easy to pick up. Like if it was a rainy day, I would just grab the book. You know, we couldn't go outside. I would grab the book. Um, I would go around the house, collect all the materials, sit my kids down. I Sometimes my son that is almost 18 months old would participate um, in some of the things and sometimes I would have him another activity to do. So, but that's how simple it was. So um, I know sometimes moms that are home are, are looking for things to do and, and under $10, this is a way that you can provide a lot of entertainment in your household. Um, I was a public school teacher. I taught fourth grade for six years and then I was a writing resource for a couple of years. So um, I also can recommend this as a public school teacher. If you happen to be a teacher in the classroom, I'm, I'm sure that you would find this guide to be easy and useful as well. Um, even if it's just used for additional, you know, additional activities or additional work pages to have in the classroom or um, something to send home as homework and so forth. So um, a really great product, very inexpensive. That's all I have to say about this for now, but I will share with you that um, coming in January, my daughter and I will be moving over to the kindergarten version. So I'm really excited to see the differences between the pre-K version and the kindergarten version. So we're gonna be doing some of those um, science experiments and so forth so I'll be making a video and also blogging about that so um, and I'll link the blog post where you can actually see the text version and see some additional pictures of us using this and everything I'll link that down um, in, in the description part but if you have any questions about this guide if, if you want to know more about even more products um, feel free to comment below uh, feel free to subscribe so you can stay tuned to um, different product reviews and, and different activities and things that I do at home to keep my kids entertained. And um, so I hope that you will tune in and ask questions and join in on the conversation and talk because that's what it's about. It's about teacher mom talks, right? I'm here to talk and I want you to talk back at me as well. So may the adventures that lie ahead bring you joy, growth, experiences, and inspire you to be the best teacher and mom God created you to be. Have a happy day.